Here is a Sensi Fish Dudes drinking game. Take a drink every time you hear the words. There we go. There we go. Hey, welcome back, fish heads. It's Thursday, and we are going to do the East Fork Little Miami River, except I got some intel from Matt's fishing mission about another place to put in. Um, I don't know, 10 to 15 miles away from where I usually do. So, uh, and you know, I'm closer to East Fork Lake itself now. Uh, I'm gonna fish this uh, spot of the creek I haven't done yet. Let's see what we can get. All right, let's switch this up again to a little bit, slightly smaller presentation. Let's go the grubber out. Yamamata five inch single tail grub and see what we can get with that. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got something here. Um, where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. All right. A little creek smolly. Start us off right. Got a little action up there. I wonder what that was. All right, so I downsized my grub. I downsized my lure just a slight bit and um, hooked up right away. I was noticing I was getting bites before, but I don't think that jig head was penetrating enough. Hey, uh, you ever fall for those uh, Facebook ads and see wanted to see actually how they work? Let's see, this is my first time ever using one of these tools. Let's see how the fish removing hook tool works. Hey, not too bad. Huh? That was fast. This is not a species of waterfowl that I often um, see in this area, but I shall deflate it and stow away with it properly. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. Got a creek smolly on the Jim Klein's Butt Ugly Baits Extra Wide Gap um, hook that was gifted to me by Matt of Matt's Fishing Mission. Mission. Speaking of Matt, this smolly's been caught before, and I guarantee you that was our boy Matt. These are his home grounds. Look at that guy. May you grow up to be large and powerful and hungry. <laughs> I scared the crap out of a smallie. There we go. There we go. There's something. There we go. Oh, I lost it. That got it. I do need to set that hook a little bit better since it's kind of Texas rigged. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That seems like a smolly. He's moving. Come to me. Come to daddy. There we go. All right. 
we're upgrading our smallies a little bit as we move down the river. That's a nice one. That had some power on it. Ultra light rod, maybe six pound, four pound test. Here we go. All right. Ah, oh, what was that? No, it wrapped my blur around the freaking tree. Dang it. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that I've had a fish spit my lure out and it's flipped up and wrapped around a tree branch. Hey, I promised you, new creek, new day. Here we are. We are about 6 p.m. the next day and I'm gonna change up things a little bit. Um, that being the lure, I'm gonna go with some minnows tonight um, with this cool thing called the bait up. And I will post a link to this in the description. So say I want a, a minnow, right? Well, I would take this device and I'll lift it upside down. That basket will float to the top. And then I will carefully open the basket and then have easy access to the minnows without like grabbing a, a basket and rooting around. So let's see if we can get anything on minnows today. Something I don't usually fish with. All right, got something, probably a bluegill. Not what we're looking for today. Not what we get here. Yeah, blue go. You take my minnow, dude. Oh, green sunny. All right. Right on the tongue. Ouch. <laughs> Ow. I feel that, buddy. I feel you there. I guess you're lucky I end up buying this um, hook remover tool this week, huh? Not much luck that day at Sycamore Creek in Indian Hill, so let's move to West Fork Mill Creek, uh, the creek that connects to uh, Winton Woods Lake. Oh, no, I had a nice largey. Uh, fish in this creek that's off of the Winton Woods. I've never done it before. Hot day, haven't caught anything. Finally caught on to a freaking nice size largey and I lost it. Gnarly, dead raccoon floating in the creek. Caught a fish. Really cool huh? red eyes. Really cool. Well, I guess I can go home not saying I'm skunked, but man, this has been rough. Now we're now we're talking. Little, little largey, little largey. Hello, Mr. Creek Chub. Nice and squishy. Easy now. Easy now. All right. This is as far as I'm going to go 
today. So this is the last hole. Last hole. Little green sunfish. Is that it? So we just got panfish, sunfish, creek chubs in the west fork of Mill Creek. So let's move on to the Little Miami River. Oh. Oh. oh, what was that? I'm just striking out everywhere this week. Let's try out uh, Stone Lick Creek. Hey, buddy. You guys get out of the road. Hey, Mr. Bluegill. Come on. Come on. That's a fat green sunny right there. That is a fat green sunny. Man, there are some big sunfish in here tonight. But where are the smallies? There should be some fish here ambushing anything that comes down that stream or just hanging out where that fresh water's flowing. Hey, we'll close it up here. Wasn't the best week of fishing, but you do what you can with the weather, you know, the creeks, the places you go to, trying to find new places and spots. So you can't always win, but we will win next week.
Hey, thanks for sticking around this long. Uh, please like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, I have noticed some leaves in the creeks, um, so the fall transition may be slowly approaching us, so we might have to be changing up some strategies.